Da, 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 da. What's good, guys? Matt McCoy, country song teacher and acoustic selection, two channels. Hope y'all doing well. God's doing big things in your life. If you've been around, if you've been around my channel at all, you know I always talk about four chords: G, C, E minor, and D. When you're learning guitar, I would say learn the G chord, then the C chord, then D chord, then the E minor. So again, you're gonna lock in the two bottom strings: G, slide down for the C, slide down the third string for the D. Then go the fifth and fourth together for your E minor. We're gonna add our fifth chord and talk about the A minor. We're gonna play three prime country songs to kind of work on that. Remember the A minor is the fifth chord I think you should learn. It's gonna play the second string of the first fret and the fourth and third of the second. And you strum the um, bottom five strings. Closer you get, oh yeah, further forward. I'll be over the edge now, no time at all. Cause I'm falling faster, 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 no time to stop. Closer you get, mm -hmm. further fall. So that's a little Alabama. All three of these songs, by the way, are in my prime country since it's Throwback Thursday. All three of these in the prime country song at volume two. If you don't have the Prime Country books, be sure to get those. They're a lot of fun. So again, we're going to start with the G. The closer you get, the strumming pattern, I'm doing kind of a bass drum, where you strum the top two or three strings, and then a full strum. The closer you get, oh yeah, the further I slide down to that C at nine that I call C. Fall. I'll be, and this is where you work on going to the A minor. Over the edge now, D. No time at all. By the way, here's a little tip too. When you, got, when you do that little throw in D chord, just take your first finger down the third string. No time at all. And I'm falling. Then back to the same thing. Faster, faster, faster. No time to stop. Closer you get. Remember, A minor is the bottom five. Get. Further fall. Here's another song. That's a great one. Um, Help me hold on to what we had. Once I love was strong, it can be again. He said it takes two to make love last. You were right all along to help me hold on. Travis Tritt, one of my favorites, the goat. So again, notice how I go G, C, and I'm gonna go, when I move over, I'm gonna put my first finger down on the second string, so I'm going there, over, and then I'm, you know, I'm moving my middle finger and ring finger as I'm doing that to plant those, and I'm ready for the A minor transition. So again, both those songs, I'm, um, closer you get, and help me hold on, you're going G, C, A minor, D. And if you're a beginner, don't we can focus so much on the strumming pattern. You just do down strum to get the timing down. Help me hold on to what we had. Once I love was strong, it can't be again. You said it takes two to make love last. But you were right all along. So help me. Now we'll get a little more difficult. Just to see you smile And I'll do anything That you wanted me to And all that's said and done I'll never count the cost It's worth all that's long Just to see you smile Timber Girl, just to see you smile. Again, so this one I added an E minor in. So a lot of songs that I sing or whatever have a G, C, E minor, D, all four of those, and then A and then A minor. This is one of them too. So again, start out, don't get too complicated too fast, just do down strums. Just to see you smile. I'll do anything that you 
that you, here's the A minor, wanted me to get all that said and done. I never count the calls, and it's worth all that's lost. Now remember, yeah, I said on the E minor, I played the fifth and fourth together. When it goes comes to an A chord, the way I play my A chords, I take my pinky finger off the bottom string, I leave my ring finger on the second string, and I press right between the two middle strings of the second fret. Let's show the bottom five. It's worth all that's lost. See, just DC smile. So it's a great little exercise. Like I said, it's a little faster chord changes. Remember on the songbooks, all of them have the verses, chorus, bridge, everything, and you can click on the title to see a tutorial of each of the actual songs. Just to see you smile, how do anything that you wanted me to know that said and done? I'll never count the cost, it's worth all that's lost. Just to see you smile. Another one I always like, I put that ring on. Girl, you know what's on. And I heard it breaking in a little red light. Take me back in time. Cause the night. That's the little uh, Chris Stapleton, what are you listening to? That goes from the G to A minor and C, D. Remember, I got full tutorials on all these songs. You want to learn verses, chorus, that kind of thing. So, guys, if you don't have the Prime Country Songbook yet on this Throwback Thursday, do yourself a favor and go scoop that up. I guess you're doing me a favor, too, truthfully. That's how you can support the channel. So go to CountrySongTeacher.com. I always put the little script link down here. CountrySongTeacher.com. You'll see you can do... One for, I think, $18 or the bundle. Prom Country 1 and 2, I think, for 25 if you want to kind of save a little bit. So be sure to go check it out. Tune in tomorrow for Four Chord Friday. Remember, every Friday we jam some four chord songs, G, C, E minor, D, that you're going to want to know. So make sure you're tuning in tomorrow. we got a special one coming tomorrow. Be there. To cut that out. I meant to say, like, be sure to tune in. And I was going back and forth between be there and tune in. And I said, tune, be there or so. something. So, editor, cut that out at the last part where I just said country song teachers. Thanks. <laughs>